Welcome back, my dear students. Now, on this lecture here, we're going to be learning how to create links. All right, and links are super useful in HTML. They allow us to go to different pages. They allow us to open uh, functions in JavaScript. They allow us to do different things in the pages, believe it or not. They even allow us to see images in a different page. Now, let's go ahead and create some links. Go to your blank.html. And let's do a save as. And I'm going to call this links. Super simple, right? I hope you're having a great day. Uh, I believe it's raining outside, but it's beautiful that at least we get some rain. I heard of places that never get rain and are really dry. And I'm glad that we have some rain, so it's a good day. Anyways, I'm going to just name this document links. Sometimes I forget to name it, but it's just preference. Um, just get into the habit of every page you make, you just make your title uh, meaningful. All right. So let's go down here and let's start creating a link. So we need a, a, something called an anchor tag or an A tag right here like this. And then we have a closing one. And then we can bring down, we can bring it down if we wanted to, just to make it clear. But links are usually one line, all right, like this. Now, the first thing is, this is just like the images. When the browser comes and reads all this data and looks at this link here, or this anchor tag, it says, you know what, okay, oh, you're an anchor tag. Hey, nice, nice to see you. And it keeps going down all the way down because we're not telling the browser, um, when you click on me, go this way or go that way. We're not telling the browser any of that. All right, we're not even telling the browser, hey, I'm, my name is click me. All right, so let's tell the browser my name is click me. All right, now the browser is going to come down and see, oh, you are an anchor tag with a click me, name click me. Nice, bye. Because we're still not telling the browser to click to where, when we're not telling the browser that when it clicks on this element, it goes to somewhere else, right? So let's do that with an attribute. So the attribute for the anchor tag or the a tag or the link tag, whatever you want to call it, is href and this href has a value all right and the value can you guess what it is well it's the source right it's the the source where we want the person or whoever clicks here to go to right well the brush is going to come down and is going to assign that value there right it's going to visualize it for us later on when we click it. it's going to make something happen all right now this is the visualization right here the browser is going to come down and and render this text but then it's also going to render this action that's going to happen there so where do we want this link to go we want this link to go to images dot html simple as that all right so let's go ahead and do that see right here the link is there i'm just going to refresh it to take that out and when i click on it it takes me to image.html and the reason why is because I don't I'm not spelling it correctly it's images I wrote the key the word in my head and not in front of you so sorry about that let's refresh it here and still there of course let's back it up and refresh it there we go click and now we are there look at that perfect let's go back to it and now I'm gonna show you another trick here um, on this link here and this link has different attributes but there's another attribute that I want to show you it's very useful it's called the target all right and basically what this is is that we're gonna target this action right here to do something else and we're gonna target something called the underscore blank basically what we are telling this link to do or the browser is that when the user clicks here we want to open a new tab. We want to open this location in a new tab. All right. So we refresh. And this tab is going to stay there. And then we're going to have a new tab like this open up there. All right. So when I click on it, you see the new tab open up. And I click on it again, we get a, new, a newer tab. All right. And again. So you see that it's very useful because sometimes you want the user to stay in this page but you want them to see some other content but because the idea is they go to another tab or they can always go back to yours but if you don't put this there 
then the user is always is going to go to another page and it, they might never press back again to go back to it all right so it's always good to have them open a new tab right i always do that to all my links all right so anyway thank you so much for watching this lecture and i'll see you in the next one good job if you follow me for those of you that did not follow me remember this is your learning here don't waste it by not doing what i'm doing practice 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 makes perfection and makes a better developer the more hours you got writing the better it's going to be for you so i see you in the next lecture and hopefully you are following me take care